You know what's crazy? We thought he was dead. Because yeah. I called every single army unit and I said, Jeff Bradford, we can't find him in the system. So how do you not find him in the system? I called every single unit. So I called the units in Italy. I called every single unit. They said no. So I said, something happened to this guy or he got killed. He's dead. Who are these guys here, man? Celebrity status, huh? <laughs> man, How you doing, Gondo? Huh? <laughs> My man. Yeah. But anyway, the whole time I've been telling everybody I'm going to Barcelona. Ah, isn't it until we were Last going to night, Barcelona, night Barcelona. before we fly, I find out I'm going to Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go here in Barcelona. <laughs> so he was there for, for six months. He keeps asking me, what job should I get, et cetera, et cetera. I said, Bradford, we're friends, man. You ain't getting a job. He says, what are you talking about? I said, you are not getting a job. Because Pat, everybody gets out of Miller gets a job. I said, you're not getting a job. He says, I don't understand you. I said, you're going to start a business. You're going to be an entrepreneur. I promise you. So for six months, we put a plan together. And now, when he tells you what business he started, it's amazing. The man the hour. Same here. That's Seventeen years, big boy. How are you, man? Good, brother. Good. Good to see you. Guys, this is Isabel. Isabel, girlfriend. Give me a good. You want to see a hug and a kiss? Good to meet you. Steve was the Michael Jordan of our high school. Yeah, Michael Jordan. 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 And I wish I would exchange heights with him. Oh, he always says that. I I, if I, gave, I could give I you the height, man. Really you give me the 5'10", oh, we'd, we'd be fine. But yeah, yeah. His game, it, it was ridiculous. He's still awesome. balling up. Really? Yeah. And, uh, and so... recreational, just staying in translation. Steve Afo and I, we've known each other since Wilson Junior High School. Also, yeah. Armand. All of us, we go back from Wilson Junior High School. 92? 7th, 8th grade. Yeah. Armand and I went to first grade together in Iran. Yeah. That's really? Iran, yeah, That's first grade. Crazy. There's a picture of he and I from first grade in Iran. Bradford had a very interesting job. Yeah. He had an interesting job as yeah. a libra librarian <laughs> for the U.S. government. Yeah, a librarian for the U.S. Army, man. So biggest thing right now, I'm very concerned. I'm just the transition. You know what I mean? I mean, we talked you're, a little bit a about it. Place right now. I'm in a very, fun place right now. I'm in a very, very fun place. I say that, and it's also very nerve-wracking on the other end, too, as well. So, now, I keep this in mind. I did it for two and a half years, and then you get out, you have a lot of anxiety yeah. for a couple months. This is 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. More than 50% of his life has been regimented with what, and then to come into, yeah. you know, like every civilian to him is weird people. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, the, 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 the military, That's you the, come out, you look at it in a completely different way, It is, especially for you. Yeah, completely different way. I remember this. I remember you got out, you were living back close to your dad, and you were doing the insurance, the insurance thing. Uh, I remember you getting into that. I remember you started getting into it. And then I went overseas, I actually moved overseas, and, uh, and then we just kind of, everything kind of got lost after you that. You disappeared for like eight I years. Disappeared, I disappeared for a little while, yes. So. So we went to the same unit together at the same time, and yeah. we're at the barracks, and we're on the same floor, and he's right next to me, so you would come up the stairs, I'm to the left, he's to the right, so he and I were right next to each other, and then all of a sudden, we clicked. Yeah. The moment we clicked, Lord. I mean, honestly, I want to say we spent 700 days together every day. Wow. Yeah. No, that's crazy. When that's I tell crazy. you every day, I'm talking 
Yeah. Except for the time you went to Brazil or I went to home. Yeah. You know, what I remember about his is we were just starting in the Army. 18 so, years old, yeah. So the Army was, okay, what we were focusing on, it was like, you know, he wanted to be the best at what he did. And he, he was in the motor pool, he was working on and doing his thing. Um, and we ended up moving through the ranks fairly quickly and being the best, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, but I remember, the one specific thing I remember about Patrick, especially, you know, 19, 19 20 years old, you know, before, before all, you know, uh, all the success and fame and whatnot, uh, he, he was, he knew where he was going, he was dreaming. We would sit there and dream, dream big, man, in the room, hey, I want to go do this, I want to do this, and uh, I just remember all the time, we would always be talking, no, never settling for what we had, you know, and that was the one thing I always, I always remember, Thank you, Thank you know, you. about, uh, about Pat, just never settle for, for what, look for bigger, better things always, and, and man, this guy was competitive, I was competitive, so as soon as he started to learn something a little bit more than I did, oh, yeah. So it was back and forth. Wrestling, the, the, this guy, a wrestling. He's a, he's a wrestler. Weightlifting. If we fought 10 times, so yeah. one time it got pretty bad. <laughs> so one day I pissed him off because we had a we had a state champion wrestler, McElroy. Oh, yeah. And I said, B, you're good, but McElroy would beat the crap out of you. And then I kept saying it, and he says, he wouldn't beat the crap. I said, he would beat the crap out of you. He says, how about you and I go right now? No. <laughs> He said, how about you and I go right now? So I said, let's go. So we'll go to East Step. East Step is... You were big at that time. I was very big at that time. Yeah. So we go to East Step. And East Step is the Army Gym. And we go to... Actually, not East Step. We went to a different gym. These two black girls are playing... Uh, 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 what they're playing? Racquetball? Uh, racquetball. Yeah. Real, real nice girls. We went in. Says, hey... Uh, you guys mind if we use this place here for a minute? He said, oh, you guys want to play with us? He said, no, we kind of want to spend some time here together. Yeah. And then it started off with pushing wrestling, and then the first person made eye you know, contact to the face, and then it's swinging. Oh. 15 minutes, we're bleeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're bleeding. And then we wipe the towel, give each other a hug, and we go work out. Yeah. At the gym. Yeah. The entire were jacked up. And we went and worked out. Watch when I'm saying this to you. In the next five to ten years, he's gonna do something ridiculous in business. You're, you're saying it. I guarantee you. You're watch watch what happens. Because he's gonna go through the crazy. No pressure. <laughs> no, he's no. That's why I said five to ten years. If I would have said six months, it's pressure. I said five to ten years. I go get hit by a car when I walk out. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, that car's gonna break down. By the way, nobody. <laughs> By the way, nobody will see that, right? They'll edit that part. <laughs> that's the real part we'll put in. Yeah, that's the real part.
What's he saying? Zane? Yeah. Good name, man. It's crazy seeing you. It was so weird. Are you guys from Madrid? Uh, I'm from England. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm actually from Madrid, uh, 13 years here, and I'm the Armenian guy. You're the Armenian guy in yeah. Madrid. Yes, yes. You were telling me what places to go to and visit. Armenian. Armenian in Madrid, entrepreneur. No way. Yes, I'm Armenian. Alfred. Oh, that's nice Armand. Right? Nice to meet you too. Alfred. Oh, Armand. Armand. Nice He's from London. I'm Armand. Armand. You're from London? Armand. Uh, Armand. Yes. Uh, near London. Okay, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what do you do yourself? What business do you guys run? Uh, I'm just studying dentistry at the moment. I messaged you a few days ago, if you remember. But um, yeah, over the course, I'm just planning on because it's a five-year course. I've got loads of time to plan my business. Yeah. How about yourself? What do you do yourself? I'm 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 basically doing college part time, part time because I want because really I what I do is I'm trying to build a little drone business and I have a little following of seven thousand people. Drone? Yeah, drones. And also, I. Um, Bought you some presents. <laughs> so, uh, I know for, you're from hospitality, baby. Yeah. I know for, you're from the Barcelona. You <laughs> like Barcelona? Right? <laughs> That's cool, man. That's awesome. awesome, man. It's nice. And yeah, basically, so you don't go without any anything else. So you go with something to, to the, <laughs> the, the match. You are too nice, man. <laughs> you are too nice. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. No problem, no problem. I appreciate hey, that. All, all that you do for us uh, in the channel and all those hours you you waste, waste invest in in making that channel uh, is the least I can do. Uh, that's how my parents taught me how to do it. But I want to know what you're going to be doing with dentists because there's a lot of business with that and no one's trying to get a part of it. Right now, what I had the idea of doing is, because my university doesn't have a shop for dental tools, but they require you to buy them. So I was thinking, get me and my friend to, because... Selling the tools. Yeah. Great but, idea. But um, only sell the ones that we've been able to use and know which one is best for to sell. Yeah, so if I, if I were to go to dentist school myself, and I'm your age, I would probably never be a dentist. Why Just a, no, I would never be a dentist. I would run the business side of dentistry. That's I wouldn't be a dentist. Mind. Yeah, so I wanna... study all of it, learn all of it, and make very good friends with all the dentists that you're going to school with. Stay very close with them because one day they could be your customers. When you do, you know what? I don't know. So, big thing is, is VA next. So, what I'll do is give you a ring when I'm like, hey, we're gonna get couple months, July. It's, anyway, I'll give you guys a few months beforehand. Uh, and let me know if you're gonna do Texas, Texas. LA, we'll figure out a way for me to also awesome. go. It'll be yeah. definitely Texas to Cali because obviously my family's Texas. Of course, in the Cali. Cali uh, Good seeing you, man. Wish we had more time together, man. Brother, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's really a pleasure. You're one badass. Yeah, it's really a pleasure. Yeah, we're definitely gonna continue this thing. Oh yeah, definitely will, man. Definitely will. Yeah, brother. This is the beginning of a new friendship. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Thanks for all the great stories. Oh man, same. Hey, yeah, so I'm still leaving here. Who's the better basketball player? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. LeBron's the greatest based on what's 